Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about the gender reveal of my baby and the baby's name. And so I'm really excited to be sharing that with you guys. I already know the sex of my baby, but I did want to go through some of these games that Bruce and I played together and play them with you guys. And um, at the end of the video, I'll tell you what we are having. And those of you who follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, you already know what we're having. So shout out to you uh, for being in the know. You are the real MVP. And for those of you who are just watching, just finding out this is a fun game I had a lot of fun doing it with Bruce I'm basically gonna go through all the old wives tales uh, predictions and kind of determine what the baby sex should or would be based on those predictions and then at the end of the video I will tell you what we are having but first let's get started on the gender reveal prediction games okay so based on these old wives tales we will determine team blue or team pink okay um, and which one is gonna win so first highs and lows um, basically, if you are carrying high, then you're supposed to be having a girl. And if you're carrying low, then you're supposed to be having a boy. So based on that old wives tale, I am carrying really low, um, apparently. I mean, that's what I've, I've heard. I thought it was just normal. But people will see me in the street or in the store and be like, oh, are you having a boy? <laughs> because I guess I'm carrying pretty low. So based on that old wives tale, I would be having a boy. So one point for team boy. Another one is the baby's heartbeat. So basically, if the baby's heart is beating 140 beats per minute or faster, then you are having a girl. And if the baby's heart is beating below 140 beats per minute, then you're supposed to be having a boy. And every time that we've gone to the doctor to hear the baby's heartbeat, it's always been about 145, even 150 sometimes. So it's been pretty fast. Uh, not for a baby, but based on this old wives' tale, uh, we would be having a girl. So one point for team girl. Another one is sweet and sour craving. So basically, if you're craving ice cream every single day, then you're supposed to be having a girl. And if you're not really into it, then you're supposed to be having a boy I have to tell you right now I love ice cream right now I'm obsessed with it like I love sherbet specifically and ice pops and butter pecan ice cream and fudge ice cream and just any kind of ice cream <laughs> so yeah based on that old wives tale uh, I would be having a girl so that's two points for team girl the next old wives tale is the Chinese birth chart I did just go online and fill out the information on the Chinese birth chart it's an ancient method that uses your age of uses your age at the time of conception and the month that you did the deed to determine the gender. So based on that Chinese birth chart, um, it said that I was having a girl. So another point for team girl. The next old wives tale says that if you are breaking out a lot and getting a lot of acne during your pregnancy, then you're most likely having a girl because they say that the girl steals your beauty, which is just, that's just terrible. That's just scary. But yes, if you're breaking out a ton, it says that you're having a girl. And if you have perfectly clear skin, then it says that you're having a boy. So my experience so far, I haven't had any crazy, terrible breakouts. I do have a zit right here right now. Just ruining all of my videos. Just, I don't even know where she came from. But that's really it. Um, I haven't had any crazy breakouts. I mean, in general, I have combination skin. So I kind of like only ever get one week out of the whole month where my skin is actually perfect. And then uh, the rest of the month, I'll have like one random zit. Just one random somewhere ruining my makeup. So that's not really abnormal for me. So for the most part, my skin is pretty normal. Um, so based on that, um, old wives tell I will be having a boy. So one point for team boy. Another one that Bruce and I did together was using the ring. And um, this one is you hang a ring on a string and then you hold it over your belly. And if it spins in a circle, then you're having a boy. And if it goes back and forth, then you're having a girl. Based on that old wives tale, I will be having twins because it did both actually, which was really interesting. It spun in a circle and went back and forth. So we were just like, OMG, what does that mean? So based on that old wives tale, it'd be one point for team boy and one point for team girl because it was a tie on that one. The next old wives tale would be um, whether or not you have morning sickness. And they say if you had really bad morning sickness then you're probably having a girl. And if you had no morning sickness at all and you feel great then you're probably having a boy. So those of you who have been watching and saw my pregnancy announcement, you already know that my first trimester was very difficult. That first month, uh, that I mean really the first few months were I felt sick. I felt terrible. Um, so if we're going by that old wise tale, I would definitely be having a girl. Uh, so another point for team girl. And that 
that concludes the old wives tales um, list that I had here I didn't want to make it too long I want to keep it short and sweet because I did want to share this with you guys but I also want to make it kind of fun so based on the old wives tales predictions uh, we would be having a girl and yeah surprisingly so it is accurate I am having a girl yay we have a little girl I'm so excited I have to tell you I didn't really care um, which one we had I didn't care if it was a boy or a girl uh, I was completely indifferent to be completely honest with you you know as long as my baby is happy and healthy and smart and funny and just you know just cool I want just a cool baby like somebody who's who's chill you know that's all I really wanted but I cannot lie once I found out it was a girl girl I was so happy I could not lie I was like yes princess everything <sighs> tutus pink dresses I can't lie I'm hyped and I love I'm a big Disney fan like I literally own all the Disney movies legit for myself for my adult life um, so having my own little princess is just super exciting and I'm just so excited to meet her so yes we are having a little girl um, now that I know what we're having I just can't imagine it any other way and so yeah that's basically it and I did want to share with you guys her name her name is Aria it's spelled A-A-R-I-A -A -A. and her middle name is Alexandra so it's Aria Alexandra and we named her middle name after Bruce his middle name was Alexander so I wanted to use his name somewhere in there I also wanted her first name to end with an A like mine my first name is Teresi as you guys know and it ends with an A my mother's name ends with an A and so does my sister so all of our names end with an A so I wanted to kind of keep that going so Aria is her name and yes I just am so excited for Aria to come through and make her debut Princess Arya, come through, come through. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited. Thank you guys so much for all of the blessings and all the, just all the good vibes you've been sending me. I appreciate it. Keep sending me those good vibes. I love them. I need them. I appreciate them. Thank you guys so much. And thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and comment below and share it if you enjoyed it, you know? And don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave here and turn on your post notifications so that you are notified when I do put up new posts, which I will be posting regularly and keeping you guys up to date. You guys can also go and follow my vlog channel if you like videos like this and you want to know more about what's going on with the baby and just my personal situation and personal life. Bruce and I have our own channel. It's uh, Seracy and Bruce. You can go into my channel section here on this channel um, and it'll show you my extra channel and you can get there that way or I will put a link in the description box for you to um, go and check out my other channel okay so thank you guys so much for watching I love you and I'll see you soon in the next video okay oh and if you're not already then follow me on snapchat and Instagram so that we can stay in touch in between posts and you guys can get like you know the regular updates on what's going on uh, so yeah I love you and I'll see you soon in the next video Mwah. Got me feeding for it all day long And I wasn't looking for nothing But now you got my attention Yeah, you got it, you got it No competition, you